Yeah, so this high precision function was really developed to meet the exacting standards of the mold and die industry and the automotive reel components. Not to say that it's not helpful on your day-to-day -day components as well, but really when you need to meet that exact requirement of that surface quality and finish, such as reflector style surfaces, you know, and it's useful in hard materials, soft materials, it's across the board. Welcome to another MTD Technical Corner. Now I'm talking with Josh from Open Mind about Hypermill's high precision machining. Now Josh, um, now we all know that you can't machine um, a part exactly as it appears in a model. You can't ever reach those exact tolerances. Now how does Hypermill best approximate um, a model when you generate your toolpaths? Yeah, so certainly we calculate to a mesh. Ultimately it adds safety to the toolpath. And a mesh is, is a bundle of triangles all stitched together, uh, which, which creates a, uh, a capsule of safety uh, against the model. So we calculate to the mesh. And why, and why is that safe? What, what makes a mesh safer than, I guess, throwing loads of points down onto what is an analytical surface in like a step file or in a B-Rep or whatever yeah. uh, representation? So really, uh, maybe we, we look at the industry of subcontracting. A lot of subcontractors get models shared across many systems and they've been through many translations and this can have an effect on quality and maybe you know, small gaps start to appear between the surfaces. Is that because they've been translated and translated and translated? This is it, yeah. So th this can have an ad adverse effect on the model and uh, sometimes calculation points in, in, in some other systems, they might travel through one so, what, so one gaps. of those gaps, if you say I want to scan this whole surface because the, there's a gap in the meeting of point of two surfaces, Correct, yeah. the point that gets calculated that will, might drop into that gap unfortunately and then the toolpath will be fine, absolutely fine scanning until it reaches that gap and then it, the, what, will, the, will the tool just try and go straight through? It, it's, a, it's a possibility that that toolpath uh, point has, has fallen through that gap and this could ultimately end in a, in a collision. You may have simulated the toolpath three times. Yeah, you've done that final calculation, and it's a new distribution of points. It might catch you out. So, so then you might ca calculate it, post it without simulating, and then it might do it on the machine, which is yeah, absolutely. No this is this disaster. So yeah, ultimately calculating to this mesh is that ultimate safety of you're not going to gouge or bang that model. So you can make sure, even though you've recalculated it without simulating, you can rely on that mesh to give you a good toolpath that's safe. I guess since you've, you've meshed the part, and I guess since Hypermill has been going for 20 years, you make good parts day in, day out. Every day, I guess, a part is made with a Hypermill program. Mm. Um, surely, because that meshing system is so uh, refined and you've got the right tolerance, then surely you just get, um, because you're machining to the right tolerance, you're making good parts, what, where is the problem? Why can't you just keep meshing? Why do you now have an extra high precision function to add to that, that mesh? Yeah, so this high precision function was really developed to meet the exacting standards of the mold and die industry and the automotive reel components. Not to say that it's not helpful on your day-to-day -day components as well, but really when you need to meet that exact requirement of that surface quality and finish, such as reflector style surfaces. Like the bottom mold we've just seen uh, on the TV here. Yeah, correct. So, so the surface finish on this is absolutely impeccable. You know, and, it, and it's useful in hard materials, soft materials, it's across the board. So even though you reach a bang on tolerance with a, a CMM across a whole complex surface, even though that is well within tolerance, is it just a visual problem, I guess, if, if you have one of these facets from this mesh? Yeah, so typically with uh, one of the behaviors of, of uh, mesh machining is you might incur facets on the surface. And really to, to combat this, we need the high precision surface mode. Now this is a tick box exercise, we turn it on and there's an instant improvement on the toolpath. Those points are redistributed from the mesh back up to the surface for perfect surface uh, uh, quality. Okay, so I guess if someone has um, problems with trying to make sure that they are meeting uh, the exacting standards of mold and die tools and they want to check out Hypermill, find out how, um, how your high precision um, function can work for them, who do they need to get in, in contact with? So this can be done via uh, several emails that are available on our website and we can also direct you to your, to your local sales representative.